So I was working at this AI startup and uh, a friend approached me and he's like, dude, I don't know where this is going, but the coolest applied AI problem today is self-driving cars. Yeah. I'm like, well, absolutely. Do you want to meet with uh, Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he's looking for somebody to build a vision system mm -hmm. for uh, autopilot. Mm -hmm. This is when they were still on AP1. They were still using Mobileye. Yep. Elon back then was looking for a replacement. And he brought me in and we talked about a contract where I would deliver something that meets mobile eye level performance. Uh, I would get paid $12 million if I could deliver it tomorrow and I would lose $1 million for every month I didn't deliver. Yeah. Um, so I was like, okay, this is a great deal. This is a super exciting challenge. You know what? Even if it takes me 10 months, I get $2 million. It's good. Maybe I can finish up in five. Maybe I don't finish it at all and I get paid nothing and I'll work for 12 months for free. So maybe uh, just take a pause on that. I'm also curious about this because I've been working in robotics for a long time. And I'm curious to see a person like you just step in and sort of um, somewhat naive, but brilliant, right? So that's the, that's the best place to be because you basically full steam take on a problem. How confident, how from that time, because you know a lot more now, at that time, how hard do you think it is to solve all of autonomous driving? I remember I suggested to Elon in the meeting um, putting a GPU behind each camera to keep the compute local. This is an incredibly stupid idea. I leave the meeting 10 minutes later and I'm like, I could have spent a little bit of time thinking about this problem. Why is a stupid I idea? Oh, just send all your cameras to one big GPU. You're much better off doing that. Oh, sorry. You said behind every camera, every have, camera. A GPU. have a small GPU. I was like, oh, I'll put the first few layers of my comms there. <sighs> like, why'd I say that? And that's possible. It's I mean, possible, but it's a bad idea. Uh, it's, it's, it's not obviously a bad idea. Pretty obviously bad. But whether it's actually a bad idea or not, I, I left that meeting with Elon, like beating myself up. I'm like, why did I say something stupid? Yeah, you haven't, like you haven't um, at least like thought through every aspect well, fully. Yeah. He's very sharp too. Like usually in life, I get away with saying stupid things and then kind of course, oh, right, right away he called me out about it. And like, usually in life, I get away with saying stupid things. Yeah. And then like people will, uh, you know, a lot of times people don't even notice. And I'll like correct it and bring the conversation yep. back. But with Elon, it was like, nope. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> um, that's not at all why the contract fell through. I was much more prepared the second time I met him. Yeah. But in general, how, how hard did you think it is? Like 12 months is, uh, oh. is a tough uh, timeline. Oh, I just thought I'd clone Mobile IQ 3. I didn't think I'd solve level five self-driving or anything. So the goal there was to do lane keeping, yeah. uh, good, good lane keeping. I saw, my friend showed me the outputs from a mobile eye and the outputs from a mobile eye was just basically two lanes and a position of a lead car. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I can, I can gather a data set and train this net in, in, in weeks. And I did. 